So the Irish 2000 gun is next. And we've got about the first 12 from last week. All back in this with the exception of the winner. Adrian, of course, who went over to the Preakness and got one and truly beaten. So a chance for something to claim the Guinea's crown, I suppose, here before we go to the St James's Palace. At Royal Ascot in a couple of weeks, but it's closely guarded at the top for Craig Allen. Endangered Beast for Dan Hughes, Gold Touch Leon Van Rensburg, Lanzar Pilgrim, Vinnie Gerard, Latter Dolce, Darren Thompson, Marino D Man for David Robertson, Maximus Wildman, Paul Rhodes, North Beer, Paul Rhodes, Steinbeck for John Morgan, Stone Pitts, who was second last week for Darren Thompson, The Big Wind, Padre Hogan, The Black Prince for Joshua Sutherland, Torres, Steve C, and Turain, James Shea. So 14 of the minutes wide open, this I think, as they make their way and they're off and racing then and who's going to be the first one out going to be pretty close for the lead looks like down on this near side lands our pilgrim in the two shades of green has got a share of the lead but now as they sort themselves out through the first furlong looks like it's north pier who's going to take it up with a right over on the far side steinbeck so steinbeck through courtesy of that rail i think is going to be the overall leader maximus wildman is in second then his stable mate north pier is third the black prince is in fourth and then torres and mario Diman after that one with two around the big wind looking towards the back lanza pilgrim who was quickly out it's now dropped to the back of the pack but steinbeck it is who leads by a couple of lengths as they pass the five from the paul Rhodes pair maximus wildman and north pier can he get a one two in this one as well then comes black prince who's back in fourth mario Diman is next and then Torres, Endangered Beast is after that one with the big wind also in the mid division towards the bat latter Dolce is the new bat marker but it's Steinbeck in the lead Mario D Man Lee Gray has now come through into second Torres is blazing a trail up the centre of the track Maximus Wildman on the fence North Pier has just dropped back a little bit the Black Prince is making ground Lanzo Pilgrim is cutting his way through the field then the big win Torrain Gold touch they one inside the final two and Steinbeck is three clear Steinbeck's not stopping at the moment Mario D Man is in second Torres is running he's petered out in the third North Pier Maximus Wildman is after that one Lanzo so Pilgrim, the only one really coming out of the pack with any pace, but now Steinbeck starts to tie up as they get into the final half final, and Steinbeck's being pressed by Mario Diamond and Lanzo Pilgrim, Lanzo Pilgrim at the centre of the track, and North Pier's coming through, and Lanzo Pilgrim just probably from North Pier. It's close. The angle's deceptive. My screen suggests Lanzo Pilgrim. The graphic might suggest something different, and it looks like North Pier may have got up to take that. Not Lanzo Pilgrim was going to hold on, but it looks like it's a classic double for Paul Rhodes. Indeed, it is North Pier for Paul Rhodes takes it. That was nowhere last week. Lanzo Pilgrim for Vinnie Gerard was second. Maximus Wildman, Paul Rhodes again was third. So a first and third in the 2000, following a first and second in the 1000. Terrain for James Shea was fourth. Steinbeck for John Morgan just couldn't quite hang on. Maybe that one's going to have to go to the jersey or something. At Royal Ascot, the big win for Badrang Hogan was back in sixth. So North Pier takes it. What a week for Paul Rhodes. The Irish 1,000 guineas, the Irish 2,000 guineas and the Preakness as well.